In this uh, module, we will look at uh, the basic construction of a PETA tube. And then in uh, follow-up modules, we will look at some of the mathematics involved in uh, using PETA tube to measure fluid velocity. So PETA tube is actually a pressure measuring device, but it's used most commonly to measure fluid velocity. Uh, we use PETA tubes very often in determining velocity of fluid in uh, uh, pipes and ducts and also uh, Peter tubes are used uh, in uh, aircrafts uh, to determine air velocity uh, around the uh, wings and so on. So Peter tube is a very widely used uh, sensor for measuring uh, fluid velocity. Peter tube is also very useful in measuring the velocity at any point in the fluid stream. Uh, so it's not giving us the average value, but it is giving us the point velocity. In other words, velocity at a certain point uh, in the fluid domain. Simply, it is a tube that is pointed directly into the incoming fluid. You can see here in this diagram. So as the tube is placed in a fluid flow, the fluid that is flowing will also enter the tube, fill up the tube, and that fluid comes to rest inside the tube. So now when the fluid approaches the tip of the tube, since the tube is filled with the fluid, it cannot enter the tube so that the velocity of the fluid at the tip will be zero and we call it stagnant. So the Peter tube is measuring what is called the stagnation pressure, which is also called the total pressure. Note that these are terms, uh, stagnation pressure and total pressure, we looked at earlier in a, in a separate module. Now, to measure the velocity of the fluid, we also need to measure what is called the static pressure. For static pressure, we could use a tube, as shown in this diagram, where the tube has got holes drilled on the side of the tube and the front end of the tube, the tip of the tube, is closed. So the side holes are the ones that will allow us to measure static pressure at that location. So often these two tubes are combined into one P-dot static tube, as seen in this diagram, the inside is the P-dot tube, as we saw, and on the outside, we have the tube that allows us to measure static pressure. Note that while the tip of the P-dot tube part is open uh, to the incoming fluid, the incoming fluid cannot enter the annular space that is formed since that end is closed, However, the openings are on the side of the outer tube. The inside PETA tube is, as we see on the top, has an opening for the manometer. And similarly, the outer concentric tube has also an opening that can be connected to a manometer. We will consider the use of a manometer with a PETA tube in a separate tutorial.